Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands on the radio because here's the <laughs> Reverend Alden <laughs> Davis. What are we doing today? Yes, it is time to get control <laughs> of how you come across to other people Uh-oh. and stop those self-sabotaging behaviors. Image management on you? You mm-hmm. bet. Today we decide to enhance our image and manage the perception of looking smart. Didn't say you were smart, but there is a lot you can do to make others think you are. I just finished working with a multinational group in Norway, and I saw this in action. Want the keys to your future success? Be here right after Weather and Sports, WTIC, where we care to coach. Ooh, that's a new angle. I like that. <laughs> All right, 714 on WTIC. Kevin Nathan speaking of sports. We'll be coming up to six, uh, the six time good evening. Six oh, that's number. great. 800-966-WTIC-522-WTIC-STAR-WTIC. Once again, you'll be going on the 25th of July. It's Monday night, and the Tigers will be at Fenway Park, and so will you if you're the right caller. And if you do know who the player of the game was from last night's game, which was, as you heard from Kevin, a thriller. 720 here on WTIC. Sunny, warm, and pleasant today. High of 85, and now it's time to go to school. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Back from Norway, and I hope you are ready to up your game. Yeah. Ray, what a classy group of people. Strolling the promenade along Oslo's Wharf, the men are wearing blue blazers, young and old. Get I started to wonder if I was up to looking so smart, <laughs> not only as a, in a good dresser, but smart as an intelligent. Welcome to Saturday Morning Coaching. Today, we explore the art of smart with two goals, up your game and improve your effectiveness. You are going to become more effective by helping people feel positive about what you are saying. You don't have to be smarter than the other people you work with. You just need to appear smarter. I watched this play out this week as I got to work with a group of very smart people who are going to disrupt the titanium parts industry. Some people were able to influence the group, and others failed, not because they were less intelligent, but because they were less aware of how they came across to the group. Lack of self-awareness is an indication of low emotional intelligence. Dare I say, in this group, emotional intelligence was almost absent because they were mostly technical people. They ranked low in social intelligence as well. Good news, however, is that this can be changed quickly. Image management is the practice of shaping perceptions. It is favorite work of mine because it is so powerful. One of the guiding principles is image not explicitly defined by me will be defined by someone else. Why would you ever leave such an important part of your future in someone else's hands, especially when you're unconscious of how you come across to other people? But if you are ready to get to work, we can fix it right now. My sister recently sent me an article by Dr. Travis Bradbury, author of Emotional Intelligence 2.0. It is titled, 10 Research Proven Tricks to Seem Smarter Than You Are. Ready? Here we go. Okay. One, use your middle initial. This creates the perception of social status, which in turn raises expectations of smart. Franklin D. Roosevelt, the attorney in our group this week, is a proper British gentleman with three middle initials. Not only does he sound smart when he talks, he sounded even smarter after introduced. Don't have a middle name? Use your mother's maiden name. Ah, okay. I have used my middle initial for so many years to the point that close associates call me Alden B. Been paying attention to the people in the news with the Dunkin' Donuts Stadium. I, Charles Matthews, I used to work with him. His name always carried a certain prestige whenever someone said it. You can make this change the very next time you introduce yourself. Two, make graphs. The research shows that when people deliver the exact same information, the person who includes a graph is more believable 96 compared to 67% of the time. What? I just saw this play out. Okay. Out of 30 people who stood in front of the room to discuss significant business risks, two drew graphs on the board, got applause when finished, and were referenced by all the other people. Wow. Smarter? Use graphs. Three, skip the drink. 
In studies at both University of Michigan and University of Pennsylvania, a person holding a drink is perceived by others to be less smart. Really? It actually has a name. The imbibing idiot bias. May not want to be using that party picture as your Facebook introduction. So at a recent company dinner, I observed two very likable guys get very happy as they were dining with the corporate attorney who was not imbibing (laughs) and behaves reservedly. My experience observing others says this is very risky behavior. Where was their self-awareness and self-regulation? Four, believe in yourself. Confidence impacts performance versus self-doubt, which people pick up on. Walk confidently. Square your shoulders. Stand up. Swing your arms when you walk. Hold your head up. If you are ambulatory, is any of this hard? Look at yourself in the store window as you walk by. Five, write simply. The goal is to communicate, not impress with your vocabulary. I like that. Conveying your point is what makes you look smart. Six, speak expressively. Research shows two people saying the exact same words. One without expression, the other varies their pitch, volume, speed, and energy. The person who changes their voice appears smarter. Okay. I watched this play out in spades this week. The CEO is a master of varying his voice. He comes across with power compared to the others. Try it. Go from normal voice to softer voice and back. Maybe you can't do it because you have to think as you talk. Oh, snap. (laughs) The executives I worked with always gave higher marks to people who talked fast. Talking fast shows you know what you're saying. You can form your ideas quickly. You process quickly. You are in motion. Seven, wear nerd glasses. Eight, look people in the eye. This shows you're not cowering. You're confident. You're not self-conscious, which makes you appear smarter. Nine, keep pace with the crowd. It is called the time scale bias. Don't move slower. Don't move faster. And don't look frantic. Move confidently as the group does. Ten, dress for success. Showing skin draws attention to your body, not your mind. Mm. Research shows that when you wear a lab coat, performance improves on tasks needing intelligence and concentration. This week, the attorneys and CEO wore sport coats. They just look smarter as they sit in the room. Give yourself an edge and practice the art of smart. These are our days. I'm Coach Davis. That was a good one. And what am I wearing, Ray? A sport coat. And you look so snappy in yours with the family crest. That's why I think you are where you are in life. (laughs) That's why they call me Willis Ray Dunaway. <laughs> so, just say hi to Billy Ray. Yeah, they, they know me as Billy Ray uh, a lot of places. All right, 728 WTIC News Talk 1080. Community Connection coming up here in a few minutes. And uh, so, like, do they have a dress code in Norway? You're walking no, along the street oh, and people are wearing blazers? So the, the wharf is, it's all been redone. So it'd be kind of like walking along Boston or Baltimore nice. or any of them. But the men, I'm talking high school and up. As a whole, right? 80% right. are wearing blazers. Wow. Well, they just go. look good. Yeah, no, they're classy. And I've got my white trowel on and my boat shoes, and I'm looking good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, 728 WTIC News Talk 1080, two minutes away from the latest news and John Silva.